Hello, hello, and welcome to you. I am Shushana, and today we're going to be doing Chinese astrology. I'm so happy to be here. It was such a process to be able to do your reading today. Um, the, today I'm going to work with the rat. If you were born the year of the rat in Chinese astrology, this reading is for you. So who was born the year of the rat? Let's go through the list. We have 1948, 1936, 1962, 1984, 1996, 2008, 2020, and the future year of the rat will be again in 2032. Let's go through the elements because I don't want to forget. So let's just do the elements now. If you were born in 1948, you are Earth. 1960 metal, 72 water, 84 wood, 96 fire, 2008 earth, 2020 metal, and the future rat of 2032 is going to be the element of water. So that might make a little sense to you. You might realize why you are... Um, drawn to a certain element and that is why so wow um, I don't want to give any inter introductory messages because um, I don't want to make a mistake because I had a crazy day and um, I don't want to get like the craziness of the day confused with your reading. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and we're going to see what comes out. I am a spiritual consultant. I am an energy reader, scanner, diagnoser. And I do not work with tarot. I only work with medicine cards and positive energy, positive affirmation cards. I connect with nature in its most organic form. And I read the loudest collective energy, the biggest collective energy. So this may or may not resonate with you. I simply do the collective reading. Sorry about the background noise. I live in such... A noisy neighborhood where people are always on their mopeds and I can't stand the sound of mopeds um, anywho so let's go ahead and jump in my channel if you've never seen me before I am Shushana and my channel focuses on detox it also focuses on independence I do not focus on romantic codependence but I do work with addictions. And ultimately, in the future, when I am able, I want to do a live chat with everybody who's having addiction issues and chat about it. Create a community where people can discuss their addictions. So we have our first card and we have the Sacred Mound. If you were born in the year of the rat, this year is about focusing on your altar. What is sacred to you? There's a disconnection between you and your soul life. There's a disconnection between you and your spiritual body. So I don't want to sound extreme, but the way that this is coming in is really heavy. Okay, it's very important for you to get reconnected with yourself. It seems like you're always seeking substance that is going to help you escape so that you don't have to confront certain situations. And... For a lot of you, you seem to have addictions to uppers or caffeine. And if you truly want to feel reconnected with yourself and grounded in your body, 
you need to get away from stay away from caffeinated drinks or uppers any kind of drugs that are uppers you can really hurt yourself you can really have an injury you can really have a psychotic mental breakdown if you don't stop a certain addiction and you don't reconnect with what is sacred to you and what that means What is the inner work? For the inner work, we have crying for a dream. You're very frustrated and you're trying to get answers in all the wrong places. You need to get the answer within. This is going to come in the form of a vision, a vision, a revelation that comes within and you're looking for external answers and you're allowing yourself to be externally influenced and that is detrimental to your life. It's detrimental to your life force right now. Spiritual advice. Spiritual advice, please. For the year of 2024 and we have going with the flow going with the natural flow of life you're trying to control everything when you try to control everything everything will go wrong when you let go of control and you just surrender to a higher power everything just falls into place as it should We have plucking the weeds and planting the seeds of your most magnificent expression. Okay, we have trusting your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? If you knew that you would be supported, what would you do? Trusting your path. I love this card because this is about your path. And the problem with this younger new generation is that they all want to follow and nobody wants to lead. And if you just trust your own path, then you're not following anybody. We have the temple path. Do you see this? You have two beautiful path cards. So you know the path. It is
It comes so naturally to you. So why are you allowing yourself to get distracted? Why are you allowing yourself to get deterred away from your path, your path, the temple path? What is the temple? What is the holy temple? The holy temple is your body. You are the holy temple. You have two path cards here. So you know the route. Don't allow yourself to get distracted and influenced in a negative manner, my dears. I don't know if I'm going to take all this. Completion and renewal, defining yourself, transformation, effort, conquering your demons. Do those make sense to you? I will say them again. Effort. Conquering your demons, transformation, defining yourself, culmination, completion, and renewal. Let's get a card from the Wisdom of the Tao deck. We have Thunder. The spring thunder awakens the land. Auspicious energy from the east brings vigorous growth to all elements of life. Cast off all that no longer serves you. Restore what remains useful and create new strategies. Finalize your ideas and ready yourself for the coming transformation. There is no time to waste. There's definitely the sense of urgency because I feel that you wasted a lot of time last year in 2023 with negative groups of people socially, like so negative social groups that you kind of allowed yourself to mess around with and they kind of pushed you off the right path so you need to get right back on there uh for those of you who are into numerology the numbers that we have are 49 12 41 47 3 27 and 3 if i didn't say it So let's move these out the way so we have some room. There's definitely a sense of urgency with you because you need to fix some mistakes from the past. Yeah. Emotions, emotions for the year of the rat people for 2024, please. Understanding your emotions. Learning to say no is what I feel I need to tell you, is you need to learn how to say no to people. Saying no politely, you say no thank you. You say no thank you. You know, um, that's pretty much all it is. You just say no, thank you for the invite, but I have something to do. You don't have to give people explanations. You do have something to do. You have to plan out your path. And we have this beautiful amber. This beautiful amber is all about 
what you've always known to be true, not going away from what you always have known to be true. So give me one second because I'm actually going to read from the book for you. Hello, hello, and here we are again. So I'm going to read more about this card here. Can you see that okay? Transparency, calm, purification, creativity. An issue that is causing tension and friction in your life will soon erupt and come to a head. You are being urged to stay calm during this emotionally charged event. Express how you feel, but don't be drawn into saying things you don't mean. This event is, in fact, a blessing, one that is perhaps well overdue. Through it, you will realize where you stand and how others truly feel. As the air clears, you will uncover a hidden agenda and find creative ways of handling this type of situation in the future. Stay calm and don't allow yourself to be dragged further into chaos by others. You will emerge from this situation feeling purified of all the negative emotions and thoughts that have weighed you down recently. Trust and remember that this event is a blessing. And let's do a color for you. What color should these people work on this year for the people who are the year of the rat for 2024? What color? Okay, that's a lot of cards. I don't know if I'm going to take them all. But why not? Why not? So we have purple, developing mental clarity. Look at that beautiful purple. Developing mental clarity. Using purple to get rid of negative thought forms. Cutting all the negative cords. When you start scanning your body, you see all these cords and you just start cutting them. And remember to cut them on a daily basis because when you go out in public, people try to throw kites, energetic kites, and you take those kites and you cut them. Okay. I see people wanting to be all up in your business this year, trying to distract you because they can smell that you're up to very good. You know how sometimes you're up to no good? Well, you're up to very good and people can smell that like baking cookies and they just, they, they want to invite you to their house and just ruin all your plans, you know, because there's a lot of functioning sadistic people out there. I went to school for administration of justice and I also watch a lot of crime, a lot of crime shows and investigations. Um, I went to school for psychology and I am so shocked by the capacity of the mind, you know, in its highest form and also in its darkest form. And I've realized that there's a lot of people in this world that are low key sadistic. There's so many different kinds of sadism, you know, and I feel like there's so many people that just discreetly do it at such a low key level. And I feel like that is what you need to watch out for. Every single day you cut those cords. We have improving your vision with this beautiful indigo. 
learning how to scan people's energy, learning how to scan people's true intentions. And whenever someone has a negative thought, up, oh, you catch it. You throw it back or you catch it and you light it on fire or you take that kite and you cut it. <laughs> I just really feel like people are really going to be just throwing stuff at you because they have nothing better to do. They don't want to see you improve your vision using this beautiful indigo color for your energy work. And then what do we have here? We have lemon. Accessing innovative thinking. Accessing innovative thinking. Look at those beautiful colors. Using indigo, purple, and lemon to purify you. Soul, mind, body. Very good. Have a wonderful, wonderful 2024. Till next time. Bye.